Welcome to Naples, Florida, home to the most beautiful beaches and recreation in the world. We are here for the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville at beautiful East Naples Community Park. One of the most amazing pickleball facilities in the world and the biggest pickleball party in the world. We're here excited once again with Eva Wilshire. Hello. I'm Rusty from Pickleball Channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today is a unique bracket, this pro split age. What's so unique about it and exciting about this tournament? Well, I have played these events last year and it is probably the two events that I love the most because you put a champion pro over 50 with a young pro and then they battle it out against other combinations and it's thrilling to have that pace and uh, on the court and the US Open just is one of those unique things that actually brings these brackets together and they continue to set records once again they created this bracket they were the first one to come up with a nude bracket and what I play this event has thousands of players thousands of spectators here and they're coming literally from all over the world which is exciting a little bit of what happened yesterday it was singles and it was truly amazing i saw some of the most incredible matches on this court that we've seen some of our victors who we had last year another champion coming back jennifer dawson yeah jennifer dawson every time she comes here she wins gold she is known for her singles especially she is an incredible tennis player as well but she blew through the draw yesterday and um, it was impressive to watch her she's on her way to be a Triple crown winner once again. Paul Olin, he came, he's won silver here twice, he won bronze. Yesterday, he got a gold. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny because Paul actually said that he took a couple weeks off and just kind of was laid back coming in here. And he had some nail biters along the way. He persevered and he did great. Another newcomer, Paris Todd, her first time here. And that was an incredible three game match. What about that play? Yeah, I mean, she, I think she had four or five match points against her and she just dug in and grinded and kudos to um, Judith, Judith, brand because, new six-month player. I mean, she was cramping slightly in the second set, and she just kept rolling through. And the men's match went all the way late into the evening, didn't finish until 9.40. The brothers, the Johnson brothers, facing off against one another. You know, it's really it's really tough watching those guys because they love each other so much, and they're, you know, they're very expressive on the court when they, they lose, and they're so fast, and, you know, I just feel for both of them when they're playing. And ultimately, Hunter ended up taking home the goal. Yes. So it is amazing. We have more amazing gameplay here at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Stay tuned for the action. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. I think it's exciting, and I think both both the, the younger pros and the seniors really love this event. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen some unique matchups, and that's the other thing that's kind of nice. Some, within pickleball, sometimes you have repeat matchups you'll play again and again, and in this bracket, you see some first-time pairings. Absolutely. And so today, we've seen Jose Derisi out here before, Altoff Merchant, some of these players, and, and but this is the first time we've ever seen these two playing teams play together, and let's see what happens as game one begins. Great job. You know, uh, just notice that Eltoff is a lefty. So they're going to stack with Johnson Cola on the left side. Nice attack. So to identify for those who are new, that is Eltoff Merchant that you're looking at there. And about to serve in the blue is Jose Derisi serving to John Sincola return. They're starting attacks right away. You know, uh, just Eltoff Merchant actually just became a senior. 
Um, so he could be playing, actually. Last year, he could have been playing on the younger side. But this is the first year that he actually can play senior pro. And to date, uh, he's only played in the men's double senior pro, has yet to play in the mixed. A little bit of an uncharacteristic hit into the net from Jose. And again, Sincola is serving to Andre Mick. Nice interchange. Yeah, John Sincola came way over to get that poach. Let's catch his instant replay, seeing the battle. Yeah. And no, you weren't the correct server. You had one. Coming back out. You just got a point. A little Sincola confusion. Clarifying. Serve and position and score the there. Yep. You are now able to sort of clarify very specifically with the ref about the correct server. You are so you're not right. Losing she'll a put point. every she'll put everybody in the right place. Return down the line. Oof. Eltoff wanted that one back. So early on, we are game number one of this men's pro split age. So as you see, Teresi serves. Really good serve deep. Second serve. Yeah, his rhythm, his timing was off on that one. He got a little bit ahead of himself. There, two, two. Short ball. Oh, so right now, it seems to be a battle between the champion pros, Derisi and Altoff. They seem to be staying away from the younger guys. Mick tries to drive that unsuccessfully, and we have a side out with Merchant serving. Oh, big overhead angle. Second serve. And this ball, this ball is a little bit of a softer ball, so it's going to be tougher to put balls Second away. Serve. So you're going to see longer rallies. Point. Ball sails a little long. We do have wind here today, so it's it's Derisi and Mick are actually going with the wind, um, and it's going sideways a little bit towards Eltoff's box. Side out. So Eltoff needs to be extra careful on getting over that ball to make sure it gets down. One, three, one. Nice job. One, three, two. Score one, three, two. Theresa serving. Nice battle. <laughs> Those are all straight. Straight in front of them battles. You have one. It was almost like Altov was daring Mick. Like, who's going to win it? One, one. Oh, just over the net. Nice job. Eltoff gives that stare down. <laughs> A little fist pump. What was so good about that, the reason why he won it is because finally he, he topped the top of it and got it down at his feet. Other than that, you're just going waist to waist. Oh, now Jose gives it back. <laughs> This is going to get loud, folks. If it's one thing that the two of them can do sometimes is get pumped up. <laughs> oh, Jose is a character. We have often uh, recorded how many fist pumps he does in a yeah. match. Oh. Wow. 
The two of them even like that, man. High fives in the middle. Yeah. That's good sportsmanship. Come on, you got to enjoy that, right? Because yep. at the end of the day, you love having a yeah. good match. Yeah, exactly. Five, one, two. Play hard, love hard. And here we are serving 5-1 with a four-point lead. Good patience. Switch it. Oh, nice, nice. They went outside, outside, and then they went down the middle. The wind's really picking up right now a little bit, but the, it's kind of going sideways across the court, which sometimes is a little different. We're going to take a Takea hydration break, I think, here. Yes, timeout has been called, and we're going to have more of this action from Zing Zang Championship Court in a moment. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Latitude Margaritaville and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude Margaritaville. By Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's paradise coast. By Skechers Pickleball. Experience performance comfort on the court with the all-new Skechers Viper Court Pro. And by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. So we're back here after our first time out of this Time game. In. Six, one, two. As Mick and Derisi try to put some more points Five. on the board. Unfortunately, that return What's says that? long. That's frustrating, right, those returns? So Derisi and Mick are now going Seven, to change two. positions and put uh, Jose Derisi in front of Johnson Cola, change up something, which is really smart. No. Ball goes just long. I mean, I think that's, you know, they're down by five points. They have to have plan B. And plan B is to show the team something different. One, seven, one. And we'll see if that works. Okay. So what it looks like to me is that Altop and Sincola are starting, they're starting the battles first. Two, seven, and one. They're winning them. Very good. And now we're three. Yep. So two in a row. Yep. Jose and Mick, I think, are ready for the speed ups now. Three, seven, one. I think if Jose is that far off the court, I think he should actually reset it in front of him because it left the middle wide open, uh -huh. and then they burned him. Still second serve here. Close the gap a little. Mm. Very good. Able to dig out that first overhead, but the second one goes their way. Take a look at the Skechers instant replay. Yep, they're just going right down at their feet, giving them nothing to work with. Seven, three, one. Sinkola serves to Mick. Oh. Ooh. Second Good eye. Yeah, he just lifted that too much. Good eye. We were in some of the pro clinics earlier, and one of the super simple three. tips was let out balls go out. Seven, three, Easier said than done. It is, but at least you can try it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So what Mick did is he went to his offside, his backhand, and he was, Sincola was completely committed to a forehand, and then he got him on his left shoulder, which popped it up, and then they, it started the battle, and then they won it. Three, 
He just got caught. He just got caught. He put it right in, into his body. He couldn't get out of the way. Mick could not get out of the way. So we get a little bit of that dodgeball element yeah. of pickleball. He's got to be light on his feet. Hmm. I think that was mixed ball. That's what I was wondering, yeah. Yeah. It's hard sometimes in the middle. It's like boom, boom, boom. You have so much, I mean, you have so much adrenaline in that moment, and then it's like you reach for that third one, and your feet haven't moved. And he should have just let Mick take over from that point. Dropping. Oh. Yeah, nice shot. I really think that um, Mick and Jose should be hitting more neutral dinks right. and not so wide because then it's opening up their side. Mm -hmm. I mean, one angle creates another angle. Right. Now Top got caught a little bit there in the transition coming up to the line, forcing a second serve. But they still have that five-point lead of 8-3. Mm. I think he should have taken a backhand maybe on that one. So as we can see, it's progressing here. You know, initially you're talking about oh, it's the senior pros kind of going back and forth, but they're mixing it up. The yeah. hands battle happening yep. in all directions. What I love about Altoff's volleys is that, you know, his purpose is to go down at the feet. He's not trying to go long like a tennis player does. Mm -hmm. They try to hit through the court. He's anything that he can get down, he's hitting at the feet and then he's dropping the ones that he can't. Oh, barely out. That was a good eye. <laughs> I think he, did he say way to go or yeah. way, way out? I'm not sure. He probably said way out. He's going to want to aggravate them just a little bit. <laughs> Great eye. So we have two in a row of those dodge balls as they fly a little long, well, closing the gap a little bit. So let's take a look here, that instant replay. That's tough because those guys are all tough and Sincola are going against the wind. Mm -hmm. So that was good eyes. Oh, no, talk. Double hit there. Talk in the middle. Well, and again, coming back, if you're potentially, I, I forgot to ask him if it was their first time playing, I think, uh, with Dre and Derisi. It is. And some of that communication comes over time. Yeah. You, you try to say it, but. I always like, I always like having one person be the captain. Mm -hmm. So you know that that person's going to call it. That's nice. Oh. Okay, so, Derisi taking a little bit of a risk, kind of scooting out to take his forehand there. I mean, I mean, it he should have been dead. Him. He should have been dead. But I like the fact that they went to his backhand, Johnson Cola's backhand, then because he had to switch sides, and that's when most people miss is when they have to do a forehand and then go to a backhand. Oh. Nice job. So hanging in there, we've had this four points, kind of going back and forth a little bit, cat and mouse, and so. Merchant Sokol is still leading, but once again, the serve coming back to Mick and Derisi for their chance to try to close this gap. Hmm. You drive there. You got to get it over. Some frustration. You can hear the expect. Yeah. You can't go for a winner on that. Well, with nine points, your margin of error is less. Right. Oh, nice. So if you're just joining us, welcome to the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. We're at Zing Zang Championship Court. As you're seeing, John Sincola serving to Andre Mick, two points away from game one in the books. That was a great shot.
See, he's moving. He's move. Altoff <laughs> is moving the dinks around. He's not staying in it with Jose. Look, look at those at guys go. Right <laughs> he's excited about that. They're razzing each other. They love it. He came on the other side of the net. You didn't quite see it and, and walked literally on the other side and then teasing uh, Derisi a little bit. But here they are with the game point. Nice cat. Oh, oh. good hands. <laughs> uh, I thought that was over. Yeah, and he, I did too. He, he got, got his paddle on it. I think that we're hoping for a side out, but it's not yet. It's second server. And again, now merchants serving game point. Oh my. Talk. Tries to go around the post called out and game one goes to Mergence and Cola here in the mixed pro split doubles semifinal at the U.S. Open. Altoff, did you see that get Altoff got? I mean, he wasn't going to move. He was either going to die. Take a look, here's that final point. Yep. Oh, Pulls he just out. missed it. Yeah. Well, we got another game coming, and we'll see how the battle continues here at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. So we are back after game number one finish and goes to Merchants and Cola at the men's pro split doubles. You're looking at Jose Derisi there in the dark and his partner, Andre, called Dre apparently. Uh, Mick. And they are facing against John Sincola there on the right and Altoff Merchant coming out to the court. Uh, we have seen some amazing games. Matches go to three already in this tournament. And we'll see if this one goes to three as well in the semifinal match as Derisi serves. So I think this is where the wind is really going to play a factor because already Jose was the first one to attack because they have the length of the court and they're going against the wind so they can swing freely. I think that should have been left for Jose Derisi. I don't think he could have come in and reached for that one because Jose could have come over. But again, it's about communication. Right. They didn't call it. Well, and he had gotten pulled so far out. And Jose moves to the middle and he helps him out. Very good. Second serve. Sincola was kind of pretty dead in his feet on that one. He should have taken a couple steps. Very nice. Yeah, as you were saying before, you know, right at his feet. Um, it's, it, it looks easy to the average viewer, but it's harder said than done. Overheads are fun, accurate overheads. But that should be the closing, that should be the closing shot. But the one before was the softer one at the feet where they give him no pace and then they'll flick it up and then it gives you the hard overhead. So the second serve. Nice shot. He went hard from below the net. I think he should have hit another dink and set it up further. So as Merchant lands the ball deep, forces a side out, and their chance to put the first point on the board in game number two. Yes, go, go, go. <laughs> he he kind of 
compliments himself so much. He's so funny. Take a but, look here. But see, they're starting to go behind Johnson Cola and not letting him just lean into that middle and take over. That's what they have to do. They really have to mix it up. There we go. That's an unfortunate miss. Mm. He needs to get that one in. He knows it. Yeah, you can see the frustration on his face. And as we're tied up. Very good. I think he's Kent, uh, Jose is catching Sincola off balance because he's looking to poach. Well, and the, the lateral movement in some of these players is so great. You know, some of them can, can get even beyond half court and still come back. But no matter what, it is more court to cover. Right. That's how important. You can't get really dead on your feet. You need to really split mm. step between points. He was ready for that one, see? So it heats up, comes back to Mick, who can't keep it in play, forcing that second serve. As with a one point lead in game two, Derisi serves. Oh, Mick got it back. Unbelievable. That was great. Great hands, great hands. Take a look here. Oh. That was just a stab. Just Amazing. I mean, Sincola and Altov kept themselves in there. And a little bit different tide so far in game two as Mick and Teresa are leading. Unfortunate. They're trying to go after Altov's backhand on their third, which is always good to go after backhands on your thirds. Very nice. So that's where the the return was too high, and so he Derisi was able to get it in the air and take time away from Altoff and get that extreme angle. Anticipation there. Jose waited until Altoff put his head down, and then he did it, Ernie. Crowd letting out a cheer here at Zing Zang Championship Court. Yep. The breeze does impact the gameplay, but it's a very nice, comfortable environment now for the fans. And I think the players, too, it's not too hot. No, yesterday was just extremely tough. Oh, Long they server. didn't check. So even though you can ask the ref, tell me, am I good, am I good? They just kind of went for it and wrong server, so they Ugh. lose that opportunity, which is really frustrating, I suppose. Especially because they're working so hard for every point and then just to give one away like that is just so frustrating. You know, you're in the moment, you have the adrenaline, you just kind of like get so excited and then you lose sight of what those little important details well, are. Especially as you're stacking. Exactly. Pop off the net. Oh. We talked about the reaction earlier, right? You know, Mick now and Sokola pop off the net and he keeps it. Yep. He got it. And then, of course, it went right to the middle where, where Jose and Mick are having some problems with communication. Smart. Gosh. Oh, you talked he about the ball it. behind him. Yeah, he held it. He held it to the last second with no pace on it. Here you go, sketches replay. So good. Good hustle, can't quite get it back. Derisi just served. Sincola returned, and we're up at the net. Nice reset. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> he Good got job. it back, but you know, when you're yeah. that defensive, Jason. And he got it too high, so yeah. he can just go right down on it. I mean, you're barely keeping it in play. All right. 
clarifying server here on the other side. Nice, very nice. So the difference in this set is that in the first set, Altoff and Mick, I mean, uh, Jose and Mick really focused on Altoff, and now they're starting to, you know, change it up and get Sincola involved so that he can't be set to dominate and poach. So now he's off balance, so now the whole team is off balance, which hmm. is what you want. Hmm. So game number one progressed. It was tight. But Merchants and Tola leading the whole time. Game number two, going the opposite Ooh. direction. That got away from him. He wasn't too happy about that. So again, these guys are up 4-2, but it's still so tight. And they had two opportunities to serve and win a point. And their third, they didn't get over. So those are opportunities lost. Mm. Both players attacking Mick there. Three, four, one. There's a point on the board at 3 4. Behind Sincola again, behind Sincola again. There we go. Too high. Mm. So that's why you move your dinks around, is that eventually, if you keep your opponents off balance, somebody eventually will pop it up. Teresa able to handle the first overhead, but the second one is put away. And now we got a tie for the first time in game number two. OK, that time they talked. So Mick is relatively an unknown, mm -hmm. right? We don't really have any um, significant history of tournaments for him. What is his background? Well, he comes from the Cleveland area. He was a tennis player and it just discovered, like many, many people, COVID, rec uh, COVID recently, pickleball during COVID. Originally, he's from Melbourne, but lives in Cleveland. Very talented. Oh, they busted Altoff. Tries to kind of go over. Yeah. And Ernie, but doesn't he knows quite it. Work. Yeah. He knows it. He has to close that out. He was uh, Cleveland State University is where Andre well, Mick played. Well, you can see his tennis skills. He uh, can see the court very well. Oh, he did it again below the net. And you saw that a little earlier. Kind of got behind him. That little kind of flick, a little yeah. bit to bring it up and over. Let me take a look here. I mean, even if the ball's below the net, you just have to believe that they're coming for you. And you've got to get your paddle up and ready. There's really no place safe on the court anymore for somebody to attack, especially at the pro level. Oh, he missed it again. Maybe he should put that away for a little bit. Well, that's what I was about to say. So after, uh, you know, some people, like, they don't even know around the post is an option, so they just keep going cross court. But after you miss a couple of them, do you just go back to the traditional dinking or what? You know, unless it's a sure thing, don't do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's such a tight match. You've got to keep the ball in play. And if you're not getting it, if it's not your day on those, then, you know, you got to have plan B. Tries to heat it up, but hits the net and gets rejected. And also the bounce on the one, the last two that he did, the ball didn't actually bounce that high, right? You know, the higher it bounces, a little bit easier for the person to hit it around. But well, also he wasn't wide enough on the court. Right. Oh. Okay, that's just amazing hands between those Even, two. Uh, look, there you go. Tap of the paddles. Great Andre sportsmanship. Mick recognizing Altoff Merchant. Great sportsmanship. 
Yeah, it's really fun to see this kind of interchange with these different players and them appreciating one another as well. Oh, such good hands. Oh my God. You know, it's funny because, you know, you can reset points a lot easier when the ball comes hard to you. Mm -hmm. But when people take pace off, that's when you have to create your own rhythm. And that's why Johnson Cola missed that one. They just took all the pace off that dink. Mm. Drives it down the line to Derisi's forehand, unfortunately ends up in the net. We're tied up at 6-6 six, six again. Good deep shot. So game number two, as you're talking about, has a little bit of a different rhythm, and they're kind of finding themselves. They were tied at four. They're tied at six now. What's going on after well, this point? I think that the fact the fact that they're going behind Sincola has changed everything. Second but again, if you want to go behind Sincola, you cannot get it high. You have to keep it low. And you have to hit to him when he's on the move versus when he's just sitting there. And so right there, six, they six, went to two. his backhand and he put it way down the line. It's a good serve. I uh, thought that might roll over, but it came back. <laughs> Seven, six, two. Sad serve. Nick to Merchant. Side out. He yeah, wants he's that looking one up back. to the sky. I know. It's an uncharacteristic. You want those. Six, seven, he's one. going against the wind, though. I mean, you have he has to have a higher margin on that side to get it over. The wind is going to push it down. Mm. But you can see Jose trying to get it down at Sincola's feet. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had the right intention. Seven, he just seven, missed one. it. Just a little too much into the net. Exactly. Keeping John back. Nice. Oh, that's such a good shot. Oh. Fine. He just got impatient. He did so well. He just needed to hit one more shot. Take I a love look that. Sketchers instant replay. Comes across with that spin. John did such a good job, though, because he was so far back, and then he hit a short one with no pace. Mm. And the fact that he kept it low and didn't let Derisi. Attack it was fantastic. He pops it right down to his feet. So Altov hit a third that was too high, and mm -hmm. that gave them the opportunity to hit behind John because they weren't up at the kitchen. Out. Derisa said way out, and yeah. Nick is holding up his fingers yeah, like, yeah, by an yeah. inch, by an inch. <laughs> I think Altoff. El Altoff oh. was hoping. I have to say that Altoff and Jose are probably the most comical and fun and robust uh, seniors on the tour. I love watching them. So for the first time in game two, Nick and Derisa are down. Oh! We had that one point, and now we're tied up again. Okay. That was so amazing. He just ran in and took a chance and hit that thing in the air before it even got below the net and attacked it. That was an amazing shot. Oh. He jumped up in the air. I think he was surprised. Eight, eight, two. We're tied up again at 8-8. Eight, eight. Too much. He's got to calm yeah. down. And rushing in there a little bit. There's yeah. almost almost a little more frenetic than we've seen before. 
he's really, if, it, if he can't get it at their feet, he shouldn't be going hard. Altoff with a, another oh, big yell. What is Altoff saying? I don't know. They're looking at each other. Jose doesn't want to talk to you right now, Altoff. I think uh, the big <laughs> victory yell. And so here we up one point. Score 9 8. Merchants are to Nick. Oh, a little pop on the net. He says sorry, but you'll take it. I think it hit Altoff, didn't it? A little bit. Second serve, Sincola to Greasy. <laughs> the hip thrust. <laughs> what Altaf is known for, the hip thrust. Shoulders back, hips forward. That's Altaf. Loud yell. And here we are. Ten, serving eight. So a little known fact, Jose and I played in a mixed doubles tournament and we were down 9-3 and came back and won. So what's going to happen here? And we hey, saw a lot of back and forth already yesterday and we'll see how it happens on championship court again. I don't think that John Sincola has sped up anything below the net on his backhand yet. Mm -hmm. That's why he ran around it, because he wants to go hard. And so just like that, we're one point from tying it up. Oh, that's devastating. Yeah. But we do have that second serve. You know, there's a fine line between just hitting it too high on your third and getting it over the net. I mean, it's just oh. tough. Rolls over the net. Yeah. Oh, oh. Into his body. He got it. He got it. Andre Mick pumping his chest there. Nice job. With a big yell, tying it up, and we're at 10 10. That was there, a sweet Sincola shot. Goes across, pop. Sweet shot. Not much you could do. Sincola serve. Uh, Mick serves. Sincola returns. Now to Merchant. As They're going to the outside. They're going to the outsides. They're not playing in the middle at all. They're going to the outsides. And here's that moment. Any point. Talk. Unbelievable. Let's pull it all the way across. Oh. That worked for him. You know, you know he's going to go hard when he comes over and takes a forehand. You just don't know where it's going. Mm. I think the wind played a part in that. All right, tied game, 11-11. So Jose did a nice job of not allowing those guys get up to net. Well, and as you said before, he's a, he's a lefty, but I mean, he was all the way off the court a couple right. times there. And then John was left with too much property to cover. And there it is again. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone back and forth from 8-10 to 9-10-10-10, and then the other direction, and now once again, Next take a look point. at this Skechers instant replay. Yep. And the big celebration by Altoff Merchant, and they're up here at 12-11, serving match point. Hold 
Dribble in the net. Nice job. He held him for yep. going to second serve. Rolled it low. They're not to, coming back. Rolled it low to John's backhand and he hit it up too high. Sketchers in some replay and now Nick serves to Merchant. Merchant returns to Dreesey. Drives it. That's a great third. Wow. I almost think that they should be thirding behind John because John's coming over with his forehand. John's doing a great job speeding up his forehand. Kudos to him. Another interchange held on the edge. Unfortunately, with that replay goes another celebration for Merchant, but comes up. And you don't see it there. They <laughs> give a nice high five to one another. But we have another match point happening here. So Altop came over and took his forehand. Normally, because you have two forehands in the middle, John has been taking it. And so Altoff inserted himself there because it came across court, which he should have. Unfortunately, he missed it, but that was a great move. It looked like we have a timeout being called. Take a Takea hydration break and hear from some of our sponsors. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of pickleball products. By Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And by Yola, for the champion in you. Here, taking a look at some of the many people enjoying the action here on Zing Zang Championship Court. The crowd is enjoying it. There's a beautiful temperature, a nice breeze, and we're going back and forth with another match point. Sincola serves. Tight arm. And once again, Mick and Dreesey held them off. It's the second yep. time at 11 12, and now's their chance to try to tie it up and force a game three. Top merchant says no. Mm -hmm. He was ready. I like Mick's idea, but he kind of advertised it and was, you know, I like that he's not playing safe, but on the same note, you know, there's, you got to find a balance. 11, 12, Second serve, Derisi to Sincola. Down the middle, forcing that side out. Now we have our third match point here at 12-11. Let's take a look. Heats up. I just think that John and Eltoff have their number now. I mean, they see the pattern that started. Nice pickup, mm. Jose. Mm. That's it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> a big jump in celebration. Altop and Teresa giving each other a hug. Some fantastic action. Some of the crowd, a standing ovation even. That's awesome. Welcome Woo! to day number two. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> oh, he just got Let's him in that right go. shoulder. <laughs> John's like, what just happened? Yeah. That is so funny. So. Day number two begins with a bang. Stay tuned for more action from Zing Zang Championship Court at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Away 
Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. So we're back here getting ready for game number two. We'll take, a look at, take a look at the results from the game. We just saw with Nick Jerusi. What do you think to see in there? Well, I mean, I know the unforced errors. I mean, I don't know how they count the volleys, but I know I saw a lot of third shots that were misses, and I think those are lost opportunities. Um, but the number of serves they won, you can see that, um, well, that's interesting because Merchant and Sincola won less. But I just think that the thirds were the opportunity breaker, and then the, they Darisi and Mick lost the volley battles, um, and I think that's the two things that were the main culprits. But it was an amazing match, and it was some great points and some great interchange, and that's what's sort of exciting about this unique bracket, right? I mean, the well fought some of the gets, as you were seeing there, I mean, it looked like it went, you know, went too straight, but you know, we were on the edge of our seat with the back and forth on game number two, right? I mean, what yeah. do you think? At one point, you talked about you were down. I think at one point in your career and so they were down a couple points back and forth. Yeah, you're never out of it You're absolutely never out of it, but I mean did you see I mean did you see much discrepancy between the Over 50 champions and the young guys. Well, no, I think as you pointed out it started out a little bit You feel each other out and it started to be a little bit more like oh, let's just kind of focus on the quote-unquote seniors Let's focus on that and then as it unfolded there was a lot of back and forth and Cole was going to Dreesy and Nick was going to Merchant and then back and forth and then yeah, it was yeah. really quite exciting. Welcome Elizabeth Bellamy. And as we see them warming up there. And her on the fourth court. court. Fires, Florida, Paris Todd. Uh, as we saw, if, if you were here yesterday in Their singles, you did see Dublin, an amazing Sherry women's Porter. gold match with Paris Todd, who is there uh, in the black top and on the right. Louisville, Kentucky, with the Mariana ponytail, her Hamper. partner. On the far court on the right is Beth Bellamy. And as we're on the Zing Zang Championship court, again, players continue to warm up. How important is this warm up moment as a player? Well, you know, when you warm up, you kind of have like, you gotta look out of the side of your eye and kind of like notice some of the traits. I'm sure these guys watched their previous match um, that Beth and Paris played, trying to, you know, see some of the strengths or weaknesses or what type of game plan they're going to come in. But they're coming in with a game plan. Now, I believe Beth is playing the, okay, she's playing the left side. So with a quick side out, we come to Paris Todd serving. Zero, zero, one. Wow, she was ready. She already yeah. was ready. It looks like Paris is going to hit her thirds instead of roll zero, them. Zero, So just if you don't notice that Sherry Coulter is a lefty, which is a big deal because there's not that many lefties out there. And, you know, when you are in trouble, you tend to go to certain places that are your rescue places. And when you have a lefty, you can't do that. Yeah, the, well, at this level, you say, oh, back, backhands are weaker. But, you know, so many people at this level have an amazing forehand and backhand. But in general, you try to go there, right? Right, but two forehands in the middle is tough because you got to play the outside of the court as Paris is doing right there, right? Paris is targeting oh, her backhand. pop on the net and lands deep. But, yes, uh, as we saw yesterday in singles, her ability to drive 
and thread the needle mm -hmm. uh, is, is exceptional. Exactly. Paris runs up and gets it. That when he comes across. Smart. Nice interchange. Right up. So Humberg and Cherry um, basically spread Beth and Paris. They went wide to Beth and then they went behind Paris. Good hands. Goes up and over. Todd goes back and gets it. Oh, a little over the net. Oh my God, what a great point. A little bit of everything. Drop shots, lobs. Well, and even in the last match you were talking about, you know, they pulled Bellamy really wide. She didn't try to get fancy and go around the post, mm -hmm. but went cross court with a great. Exactly. So certainly uh, you play to your partner's strengths. And you know, some people watch online and they're like, why is one person hitting too many points? But at this point, you're trying to win. So you play to one another's strengths. Todd has the ability to cover so much of the court. Right. We'll come back to that in a second. So you and I are not 25 anymore. No. <laughs> How much are you allowing your partner to take 75% of the court? If they can. Well, you know, it's almost like it's this split age can't doesn't mean it has to be, but some of the teams actually play like a mixed team mm -hmm. where maybe the senior champion is taking a portion of the court that would normally be like a mixed, and then the young person would take 60, 65%, just like just Paris just did. Right. Oh, but Beth comes with a nice angle right. to close that out. Right up. So Paris started the battle, and then Beth was able to close. Three, three, one. Soft, deep serve there. Paris goes to heat it up and unfortunately goes into the net, bringing us a, a tie of 3-3 three, three with a second serve. Todd serves to quarter. Oh, Sherry has some really good reflex volleys. Oh, all four up at the net. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Beth did a good job. They had kept her back there, and she worked her way up. Yeah, and she had a really, really low ball for a dink over the net, yeah. which, you know, Sherry's going to have to hit right up on that to get it over, and she didn't. Mm. Right up. So she wanted to run around that and not hit a backhand. She prob Beth she probably should have just hit a backhand and come back in because she, she lost a couple steps. Yeah. Yeah. Todd drives. Hmm. Mari has some spin on that thing. I think there's more spin than you think. Yeah, and once again, it's so exciting to be here to see new faces and new action happening on Zing Zang Championship Court. Four, four, one. And we are tied up at 4-4 in this gold medal match, game one. Wow, good pickup off the ground. Oh. Okay, now that's an ATP. That's how you do an ATP. Jose, Jose, where are you? Where are you, Jose? <laughs> you can tease him a little bit because okay. you know him, right? I know. He's my friend. Comes around and actually ended up hitting Paris in the ankle Five, four, one. with a fist bump by number there. They do, Quarter and Mari, though, do such a good job of getting that low ball over the net. I mean, she missed that, but they've been doing a great job. Great serve down the middle. Yeah. Paris actually had to duck out of the way. She was hugging the line a little yep. too much, almost got hit. And then Beth doesn't have any place to go. It's a high risk serve when you go down the middle like that. She hit the line. Yep. 
It's a little too high. Yep. Me and Todd just laughing, thinking like, "Oh my gosh, we got lucky on that." They saw that coming back. That's two forehands. I yeah. mean, they both whiffed. Yeah. I mean, because they both were there, and then they both pulled back just a little bit because they were worried they were going to hit each other's paddles. But we began with a three-nothing lead. Carter Humberg pulled it out and had a lead, but we're now tied up again at six-six. That's really high. Mm. Oh. You know, you think it's there, but it's really below the net. Mm -hmm. And Mari did a good job of just keeping it low with no pace. And Paris has to pick it up and lift it immediately. Otherwise, it's in the net. Yeah, let me confirm it. She's in the right place to serve. That's 6 6 2. The running into each other, though. I mean, if Paris is going to take all those and run into Beth, then they probably should switch sides. Six, six, one. Second serve. Quick. Change the second serve. Six, 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 She's so yeah. keeping her back. And not only that, but she's Pulling going into out, yeah. the corner where her back end is. Hmm. So she's really playing the line, which is a smart move. I was going to say, the second to last shot there was so close right on the line. There. Right. But she's trying to keep there's Sherry there's back so she can't get to the kitchen. Interchange. Really focusing on Beth right now. Yeah, good job. Way to get in there. So Beth did a great job because she kept the ball going until mm -hmm. Paris could uh, insert herself, right? And here we see it. The sketch is instant replay. Comes over just enough. Goes straight to the mid body there of Mari Humberg and ends up forcing the side out. Now leading by one. That's a great third by Paris, and then she just set it up. Yeah. Nothing better than a great third. Sets up everything, makes it your opponent hit it up, and then you can put the next one away. Mm. Nice job. Way to hold it off, Beth. So with our first timeout of the game, the receiving team calls a timeout, and we'll have a Takea hydration break. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Paddletech, the official paddle of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships by Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand. By Takeya, hydration is an all-day game. And by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Save the date, April 13th to 20th, 2024. with a look at Todd and Bellamy there and as we're getting ready to come back out from a timeout. Once again, with that beautiful view of this unique open air arena, that shade structure. It's actually with the, the original shade structure it was taken down in Hurricane. This is the second generation, but the recent hurricane here in Florida did not affect East Naples Community Park, which was uh, fantastic. Now with uh, two points away from game one, Paris Todd serves to Mario. 
Humbert. Mari has just a, such a great underspin on that forehand. Oh, great coverage by Mari down the line. Oh. Quarter so, hits to Bellamy and forces a second serve. So Mari is um, from Brazil, as you said. This is an international tournament. She played at University of Louisiana, though, for tennis. There you Great go. shot. And here we are at our first game point in this gold medal match. That's a problem with two forehands in the middle is there's such indecision still. Hmm. Good idea, just a little low. You don't have much room to go forward on that shot, so. Good deep serve. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm, yeah, you hate when that <laughs> happens, right? I mean, the serve was so good. It's too bad it wasn't backed up. And so, all right. That's a Hubbard great serve, serves. too. That one turn. Well, pops over the net. Mm. Mm. And we got a point on the board. As you've seen, we've seen some amazing comebacks, and we'll see here in the women's gold match, the split age, if it will happen. Lob Very doesn't good. quite get over. No, no. And the thing is, the fact that she could get it down at her feet at the kitchen was amazing. So given that, lost that uh, two match points there. So now we're going to have another Takea hydration break as Bellamy Todd call a timeout. U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's by Zing Zang. The number one Bloody Mary brand is on fire with new Zing Zang Blazing Bloody Mary by Deco Turf, the official pickleball court surface of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships by Franklin, the official bag of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And remember, you can purchase the official U.S. Open Pickleball Championships apparel at kitchpickleball.com. So as we're back after that timeout, as Bellamy and Todd are trying to keep their opponents from putting another point on the board. They were at 10-6, and now we're Oh. Mm. Side up. So Sherry, they kept Sherry back, which was great, and then Mari just got, they went right into her right hip, which was a great spot to go after. Match point. Game Second point, serve. excuse me. So they broke another serve. 10, 8, 2. It's tough. That's I was going to say, that up. forehand, I mean, it's like, it's like she's scooping ice cream. I know. It's like it, there's, there's so much spin on it that you little, really have to bend down, eight, bend ten, really one. low like a squat, and then just lift straight up. Yeah. Hmm. Second serve. I think Sherry should have stayed back for one more shot and then hit a fifth. 8-10-2. Humberg serves at 8-10-2. Side out. Little cross court interchange. I mean, these are so, oh, thank you. Ten, these eight, are one. so short that you need to let some of those dinks bounce. Good job. Start. Way to close yeah. the middle. Stay in it. Yep, with the two forehands, Sherry closed the middle. Mari let her have it, and then she closed Ten, at the feet eight, of two. Beth. Good deep serve by Beth.
Oh, pops up with a net. Oh, oh, nice point there. I don't know if I like Sherry's backhand or forehand better because her backhand is seriously Ten, sick. One, I mean, one see the moment here. I mean, she is ready for that. Yeah, some she, great hands here. She got it out in front. She put her weight into it. She got it down. Frustration on Paris Todd's face there. And uh, once again, we have another timeout called as strategically these teams are trying to figure out how they can close out game number one. U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Latitude Margaritaville and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude Margaritaville by Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's paradise coast by Skechers Pickleball. Experience performance comfort on the court with the all-new Skechers Viper Court Pro. And by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. Again, at the flags waving and the crowd watching at the Minto US Open Pickleball Championships. We have some tight back and forth happening in game one of the women's pro split age. Oh. Second serve. I think she timed her jump wrong and she hit the top of her paddle. I absolutely hate that. Going to a second serve, but as Quarter and Humberg have held off that final game point against uh, Bellamy and Todd. Um, you want to come over and select another ball? One, two, three. I think they're fourth time here. Oh, we're looking for the ball. ball that might have soared long into the crowd. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful day. You wouldn't know that it stormed here like a severely this morning that we had a, like a two, three hour delay. Yeah. It's absolutely it's gorgeous. One of the amazing things about Florida, you can be like, oh, it's so wet. <laughs> and then when the sun comes out, it dries pretty it's quickly. It's so beautiful. And, and here we are. Again, Eight, as Mari Humber tries to put another point on the board. Hmm. That That's out. a little bit wide. Good job by Beth going behind Mari, because Mari was starting to Ten, eight, sneak one. over to poach. Deep return by Humber there. Todd and Bellamy trying to get up to the net. Mm. Mm. Second serve. Him off again. That ball just got more and more and more spin on it every time Mari hit it and then Beth hit it because they both started adding more Ten, and more eight, spin. Two. Second serve. Good point. Good third by Paris. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, a little and bit Paris of a mess did, there. Paris did the same thing Sherry did. Just mistimed it. Take a look. Sketcher's instant replay. She goes to go up and just Eight, hits the ten, top of the one. paddle. You can see her frustration. She's like, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and again. We're that back. And so this time, point. a point on the board. We went back and forth. 10 8, 10 8, 8, 10 8, 10 8. And now we are at 9, serving 10. Do we see a comeback on the horizon? You know, I think so. Boy, she can pick that up from her shoelaces. Mm. Nice she, lob. Very nice lob. That's low. Great dink. Oh. Oh, my God. How do Mari and Sherry get these back? Oh, come on, that was a good oh, one, huh? Oh, that was good. She just got in there. She was ready. I'll tell you, you know, it takes. Let's take a look there. She heats it up, but great defense. And then she moves back up to the kitchen to close out that middle. 10, 10, one. They're coming across. Boom. So now quarter just served at 10, 10. We're up at the net. Humberg trying to get up there. I tend to be focusing on Beth right now. Beth is an incredible dinker. She's so smart. I would change it up. Somebody's got to change it up. There we go. 
Mm. She had the right idea, though. Yeah. Beth had the right idea. She had to get out of that cross court. But you know, when you play opponents, you know, you can go down 6 0 in the first set. You just getting to know each other, and then all of a sudden, it can just come together. Right, okay. All of a sudden, we now have game point coming up for the other team. Nice, nice setup by Beth. Second third. That's a good one two pattern for Beth. And Sketcher's instant replay here. It comes up and down the line. Nicely done. 11 10 2. 11 10 2. Nice job. Spread out. So they close it. So Four. Sherry was ready for that one two now, but then so was Paris. <laughs> yep. She, she was ready to play. Great hand. She sent it back, but yep. Paris went a little bit heated it up, opposite angle. And that's her chance to serve. 10, 11, 1. The first time in a while, one point behind. Mm. Second serve. That was a good spot right between them, right? So you don't know who's going to take it. Paris obviously wanted it, for it, but it's her backhand. 10, 11, 2. Mm. Point. I can't overrule it from this angle. Any question possibly about whether it's in? Mari is asking if it was out or not. I thought it was out. I don't think there was Referee, a question. A little hard on the other side. Didn't. 11, 11, two. Calls a score. 11, 11, tied up. Mm. Side out. Todd goes. We saw it over and over again last night. Her ability to go down the line, heat it mm -hmm. up like that, and just. She just little, missed it. She was just a little wide. bit late. Mm -hmm. Beth does such a good 11, job 11, setting one. up plays with her forehand. And we switch sides, still tied up at 11 11. Point. With a quick point on an unfortunate missed return. And we're at 12 11. 12 11 1. Such a good backhand. Ooh. Oh, she was ready. Right nice third. hands, Paris. Good move by Mari, though. I mean, you don't see, haven't seen a lot of movement, a lot of poaching. Oh. Mm -hmm. Side out. Look at her face. She's like, oh, I, I missed it. You God. can see the frustration. Just... <laughs> she felt that, you know, when you know what you want to do and you're right there and it's, ugh. But you know, when somebody goes cross court, they're almost. They're almost luring 11, you 12, over to one. that line so that you can hit it out. You know, you've got to hmm. be, have your wits about you and bring in your targets. Bellamy tries to lob, it goes wide. Bellamy is a phenomenal lobber. I just, she normally plays the left side. 11, 12, 2. Wait, look at that spin. Oh. Players at the net. And we're tied up again. I mean, I think Beth and Paris are doing great, but Ball Mari three. and Sherry definitely have opportunities on their paddles. I mean, they're just, I think they're 12, 12, two. a little anxious. Paris and a little defense there. Yeah. They're really picking on Sherry. Oh, oh. pops in there, almost rolls over. Nice it job. goes back. And Beth just came in and she was not going to, she was relentless. You can see it. Oh. So 13, now, 12, 2. Paris and Flipping Beth back have, the other way for that game point? Yep. Yeah. 
Oh. Side out. See Beth's frustration. Beth does not miss that much. Her consistency level is so high. And that makes her, well, that's why she's one. number one in the world for seniors is she yes, you are. I'll doesn't recall the score. miss. Beth Bellamy quickly checking with the yes, ref. Yes, ma'am. And the other 12, 13, team also checking. Just be safe at this point. Great serve. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, not much you can do with that. Well, I don't think Sherry should have dropped it. I think she should have just wailed at it. She hit that reset, and she should have just gone after it. 12, 13, 10. Yeah, here we go. So that time she came in and she didn't try to reset the second shot. She just followed it in and then hit it really hard. 13, 13, 10. There's a drive. Wow, what a pickup by Mari. Right at her feet. Oh. oh there's the lob. Oh, no, between, between the legs. Come on. Oh. Oh my God, what a point. What a point. The crowd's clapping. Woo. Holy cow, and a 13-13 to boot. A couple lobs, a tweener. Let's see, look at that. Lob number one, tweener. You have one. Great reset. Timeout receiving team. Lob yes. number two. Great reset. 14, 13, two. One oh, minute. That is crazy. Wow, what a point. Fantastic. So as a result of that, receiving team decided to call a timeout. We're going to have a Takea hydration break and see more action in just a moment. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of pickleball products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And by Yola, for the champion in you. Game number one with some fantastic action that has been taking place in the women's pro split age gold medal match. You can see there, Mari Humberg, who's getting ready to serve with 14, that second. 15, and just like that, game number one is in the books, flipping and flopping back and forth, but ultimately going to quarter Humberg. And we will see how exciting game number two is. Let's look at this last point. Yeah, I mean, Humberg and, and Sherry just got comfortable. They got confidence. They just started, you know, believing in themselves and trying different things. Oh, look at her face. Sherry's like, oh, my God. Yeah, so the favorite team was Bellamy and Todd. But game number one in the yeah. books, certainly it is not over yet. We will see what happens as we come back to more action at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. Championship court. You can see that beautiful LED screen up there, which is great for the fans and everyone to keep track with that Margaritaville logo. Uh, thank you, Margaritaville, for being hey, such ladies, a supporter. In the back two. there, that's the Hi, man. Margaritaville License and Chill sure. VIP okay. Lounge. Game number two begins with Paris Todd serving. Woo! 
Wow. Boy, she's not afraid to go at Paris at all. You know, it's very interesting because Paris and Beth were going with the wind on the other side, and they did not win. And usually... Zero, zero, one. Not usually, but, you know, you tend to win when you're going with the wind. Ooh. Oh, nice. Look at that overhead. I don't think Sherry had much of another of any other choice but to lob it. She was compromised. Zero, zero, two. Terrace is able to get all the way up there. Bellamy returns mm. Mm. into the net. Unfortunately, a little uncharacteristic. Again, we've seen some great play here in game number one. Some new faces here at the U.S. Open, which is part of what zero, makes this event one. so special. Little pop Point. up from the net. Todd's there, able to say thank you. That helped a little higher, and kapow. Let's see if it. Okay, that's scary. Yeah. That's scary. Thank you. Yeah, that's it, scary. You know, not only did it go high, it kind of even slowed down, flo I know. floated a yes, little bit. Mari knew she was in trouble. She just got out of there and left. Four, zero, one. A little confusion. Ooh, good get. Oh, good Hustle. get. Paris did a great job. Mm. So a little seven. pancake. A little pancake hick action. Paris did a really nice job resetting all the is. way up. Boom. Yeah. One, zero, two. Oh, what nice. a beautiful slice. Mm. Here's again another time, a little pop on the net there. Yeah, they're getting some unlucky, unlucky net action. But yeah, her, the sort of backhand across, that was... That thing net. just hits and dies. Two, zero, two. So as we progress in game number two, Beth Bellamy serves to Mari Humber. Mm. Smart move. No, no, not that So Beth is on the side where her lob can be very, very effective. So they're going to have to watch for that. Yeah. I don't think you want Mari to have any forehands at the net. She's such a strong gal. Yeah, all, all these players have proven themselves. And, um, Zero, and again, the, the, the lower seed team is just doing such an amazing job. Second mm. serve. Got to keep the feet moving. And the <laughs> interesting, the diversity, Zero, as you're saying, three, with the, the different ages, the different skill sets, you're seeing. I mean, I'm sorry, but Sherry looks like she is a youngster. I mean. <laughs> But, Who, who's but, the senior there? But also who's the senior? Sort of, yeah, yeah you're, but you're seeing also the different technique yeah. and, and sure, everybody yeah. playing a different game. Yeah. I mean, they, these guys are playing a heavy slice game. Heavy slice. Okay, so, you know, you imagine if you're, if you're playing kind of in the similar, sometimes if you have four really strong players, it's bang, bang, bang. Three, but, two, you know, three. when you have one who is playing an entirely different strategy, how much does that make it more difficult? Well, I mean, if she's if she's doing it and winning, we'll then that's good. What, when somebody is really strong, you just got to make sure that they're always compromised as far as movement. You cannot hit to a standing person. So you've got to make sure that you're splitting the court and getting everyone. That was that was interesting that she missed that. You got to get everyone like discombobulated. And then whatever strategy they have, it's most likely that it's going to really hurt them if they're moving and they can't execute. Mm. Mari Humbert turns to let that 
hopefully go long, but it catches the end of the court and a quick timeout is called. It's 6-0. And we're already, yes, it was a little bit of a runaway at 6-0. How did we get here so quick? We'll find out how it ends after this Takea hydration yeah. break. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Paddletech, the official paddle of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, by Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand, by Takea. Hydration is an all-day game and by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Save the date, April 13th to 20th, 2024. letdowns because you know you're not safe you know you're not safe but you almost can breathe and you got to make sure your feet are moving and that you're you know really into the match still but you know Beth and Todd are going against the wind and they're just going really hard and I feel like Mari and Sherry are reaching a little bit and they need to keep their feet moving they're missing a lot more in the net and so here's their chance after a timeout to see if they can put some points on the board. Little roll on the net. Mm. Oh, dribbles over. Oh, and it Ooh. goes long. Yeah. I mean, you can over hit on that side, but you can't over hit that much. <laughs> Well, it almost clipped uh, Sherry's shoulder. It looks right. like she ducked just enough. Well, that's the question. Did Paris really care if it went in? She, maybe she was going for the body, yeah. you know? Dodgeball. Hmm. That's a one-two that Beth does a lot. Yeah. Yeah. She'll lure you in, and then she'll go down the line. Hmm. So they're going to have to be aware of that. I just feel like the energy level on, on Mari and Sherry's side has gone down significantly. Six, seven, one. You can see Mari jumping around trying to get going. That is nice. beautiful. What a phenomenal one-handed backhand. So another shout out, um, Rusty House from Pickleball Channel as we look at this instant replay. Mari comes, oh, nice. And I'm excited to be here with Eva Welsher. Thank you so much. Thank for providing you. insight on the game. Oh, last see. year at the U.S. Open, we saw you have, I know you were about to comment, last year at the U.S. Open, we saw some amazing stuff. It was so exciting to see you play, and now you're here sharing your knowledge and your experience in your hometown. Yes, I live next door, and I'm loving it, and yeah. I'm so sad I'm not playing this event. My partner uh, had a conflict, and so I wasn't able to get a partner, but I wish I was out there. And as Sherry puts that away. They have their chance with some communications. The two of them are saying, you know, 7 0 is significantly different than game number one. Let's see what can change the tide. I think that them, I think that Mari and Sherry playing first strike pickleball and going after them. Okay. I think that's what they have to do. Because if, if Beth and Paris are able to manipulate the point and strike first, I think these guys won't be on the winning side. Got really good thirds. Yeah, right. Yeah. A little high, though. Yep. Got to get in. Got to get into that kitchen. No substitute for getting into that kitchen. We need to look at the sketchers and some replay. Beautiful Coming shot down, by yeah, Beth. Right to the line. Yep. Boy, there's a, she has oh. to have a Western grip. Side out. I think she has an extreme Western grip still from tennis. So for those who aren't totally sure, meaning? Sorry, the grip, 
usually people are using a continental or eastern in pickleball, and tennis players usually hit westerns, and she's using a western. She comes to go slice that, but looks gets called a little yeah. bit wide. But for those who don't even know the term, meaning western grip, the rotation or the paddle in your hand is underneath. You're underneath the grip. Sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. Nice. I think that um, Mari and Sherry need to commit to grinding again, being willing to stay in this point as long as it takes. Eight, one, two. Lob, not quite high Nice. Enough. Yes. I mean, Todd's ability to go back, read that, and, and, and jump up as well. Mm -hmm. Not quite high enough. We can see it here. Well, she's been putting a ton of work in oh, off yeah. the court. Yeah. And that all pays out. You know, when you have shots like that, you have to hit. Boy, that wind is picking up. Yeah. A lab's coming. Oh. Ooh. So. They're just not all of focused. A sudden, ten one, yeah. They're just not focused. Different, significantly different game. It's game like number one went to 13 13. If you're just joining us, Paris Todd about to serve at 10 1. It's like they sat down and just like relaxed too much. That. Oh. Her, I think her own spin beat her on that one. So game number two goes to Bellamy and Todd. After game number one going to Quarter Humber, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to three games. And the last point coming at you is with that back there. Goes to put some spin on Beth, brings it back, and it bounces a little funny. Actually bounced towards the net. Yeah, but I... I'd like to take a moment and to we will be back shortly with more champion action. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. Game three begins. With a quick heated interchange, already the, the energy feels a little different. Than yeah, game unfortunately, two. Paris did have that on the net. Uh, was a little unlucky, but boy, oh boy, they're coming out hitting. One, zero, two. So I really think that, you know, Humberg, when, when they get into that back and forth with two people, you got to move that dink around because eventually somebody's just going to miss it, which she did. She hit it wide. She should have moved one. it even a couple feet in to give a change, a, a look change to Beth. There she is with that return. She comes way under the ball and, you know, dropped it a couple feet from the baseline. I, I mean, I really think that you should – not slice that back. You need to really lift it with a topspin shot. Now see, she gets into this. She needs to move it a little bit. Hmm. A little bit of bump into the net. But you were referencing she's had a relatively short uh, history in pickleball so far. Yeah, I mean, she started last August, and then in December she decided that she was going to try pro, and she is just having great success. 
I'm so impressed. Good job, Beth. Oh. Beth Bellamy stays in the fight. Gives a first big fist pump for her, I think, in this match. Yes, ma'am. We were talking earlier about two, one, Mari two. Humberg and the black skirt and the black visor. She's going to be some someone to watch. Todd heats it up. Sherry Corda goes a little bit too much. Right now, Hamburger and Sherry are uh, Humberg and Sherry are losing the dink Three, battles. One, They're going to have to try to find a different plan. Way to go. Tara saw that coming. But again, I mean, Mari is going to the same place three times. Eventually, something's going to happen. She's got to, like, redirect behind Paris and make sure that they are uncertain about what's coming Four, next. One, two. Mm. Side up. I was blocked. Little question, close call, ball on the line. Uh, even Mari Humberg looking to the people in the Skechers <laughs> or in the Margaritaville License to Chill yeah. Lounge who are right on the line. They're not line judges, but. It's her call. Now let's see what happens here. Boy, they get, pa Ooh. they get Paris right into her chest a few times. Yeah. And it's Humberg, Mari, who does it. She goes right into that one-handed backhand off of a dink. Three, four, one. Smart shot. Lob. Great, all the way deep lob. Yep. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah, so both the excellent lob and then continued really deep shots, keeping right. them, they couldn't move. They couldn't come up to the kitchen. They were completely stuck back there. And that's where you want your opponents. You don't want them at the kitchen. Now, Mari has not won these battles, so let's see what happens. I right like now. the fact she tried, though. I mean, she didn't go back to Beth, but I mean, Beth's doing a great job keeping it low. They don't have many options. Four, two, one. Oh, good shot. I think Sherry should have held her line, though. That's really the only shot she had. That was hers to cover. Five, two, one. Beth was ready. Mm -hmm. So we move to a second serve. Yes, Todd, or Five, Bonnie, two, Bellamy two. confirmed she's in the right spot. Good get. Uh. Oh. Right up. That was good recognition by Sherry, though, to keep it low. Because, I mean, Paris is moving now. I mean, that was good recognition, and then she went behind her. Second serve. Ball goes wide. They're going to need those to get points. Moving to second serve. My partner last year and I always said, good, not great. Good, not great. Smart, start the points. They're trying to drop it, not quite enough. They're keeping him back. They're keeping him back. They're keeping him back. And eventually. I know. Right? I mean. Well, yeah, that's a, we've seen so much diversity, and with a lot of people, 
you know, the third shot drive has become much, much more popular mm -hmm. in pickleball over the last few years. But right there, you know, she's trying over and over again to try to drop it. Not quite good enough, and Paris Todd's able to keep her back. Mm, nice Ooh. shot. A little bit of a surprise there. Also, it was slow, slow moving. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it, it was kind of like out of rhythm for Beth. And here you can see it. Right Five, two, two. Comes. Oh. So we just had a serve. And we're back to an interchange. Great forehand. So that's forehand is, I mean, she sets up all her shots with her forehand. It's spectacular. So the best thing they can do is actually just not hit it to her forehand, and which so is easier said than done. With that, to try to keep game three from running away, a timeout has been called. We will take a Takea hydration break and see if Quarter Humber can turn this back around. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Latitude Margaritaville and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude Margaritaville. By Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's paradise coast. By Skechers Pickleball. Experience performance comfort on the court with the all-new Skechers Viper Court Pro. And by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. So as we move along in game number three, the women's pro split age here. This is Rusty from Pickleball Channel joined in the booth by you are. Eva Welsher. Thank Hello. you so much for being here. So much fun. Great pickleball. So if you're out there, yes, right, yeah. how do you turn this Sorry. around? Game one was amazing. They were almost a little surprised that they won. Game number two, Six, totally two, two. different 11-1. And here we are at 6-2. It's starting to run away just a little. After this point, what do you do to change it if it's you? There we go. Um, you know what? Uh, I just think that they've got Mari and Sherry are a little got impatient. Um, they're staying in their same routine of shots. They need to mix it up. And they need to believe and they need to be aggressive. So it's I think a lap's coming. Oops. Oh. She's going way outside to take her forehand. Another tweener. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh, bounces over the net. Oh my God. Second what point. a great point. I do think that Mari needs to go down the line. Here it is. Oh, that tweener is crazy. And we're back in a point already in progress. Oh my God. You know, right now, Beth and Paris are getting so many balls back and just making them hit one more, which, you know, folks, it's like, never think you're out of it. If you can get Six, one back, two, one. that most likely your opponent may miss it. Good resets by Paris. Yeah. I thought they were going to keep going deep to Beth. Point. Yeah, see, Beth got it back once. And then. Good eye. Ball gets heated up. She lets it go. Yes. Seven, two, one. Yes, nice angle right on the line. Paris Todd not quite able to get that back. But still with a, now a 7-2 lead yes. in game number three. 7-2-2. Two, two. Yeah, let me 
serve to share quarter. Mm. Mm. That's unfortunate. You can see her kind of talking through it. I don't know what just happened. Eight, two, two. Change. Yeah. They covered the middle well. You could see that Beth was trying to go middle and then pull them outside, which is really smart. Okay. She just missed the two, eight, one. The ink. Mm. Humberg had a really good idea it's unfortunate two, she eight, it. Mm, oh. she's just waiting for that yeah i think uh wasn't hit quite as but just my number was expecting yeah i mean she was just she didn't need to hit it there you know she still needed to stay in the dink a little bit of an off balance reach yeah Serve comes back to Bellamy eight, and Todd two, with that 8-2 lead. Just three points away from claiming gold. Hmm. Well, she she went opposite stayed. angle on that. Yeah. I mean, you know, they've been picking on Beth, and Beth has basically been beating them. So, I mean, it eight, doesn't two, hurt two. to go to Todd. Todd wasn't coming in. Okay, they're going middle more right now. Oh, that's Ooh. smart. Okay, there that we go. That was nice. That was very good. So she recognized that Beth was back, and then she hit the drop shot. Cool. I love it. And hit it in such a way that it basically just, it didn't go back. No, I mean, it, it just completely died. And Beth was expecting something deep, so her weight was back. See, I don't think you need to try that much. Well, but I think in, in game number one, I mean, her consistency is dropping a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, her ability to drive a clean shot from the baseline is there. Yeah. I'll tell you, though, Humberg's talent is immense. I mean, this is just the start that we're going to see of her. And quarter, I mean, she needs to play more senior pro tournaments because I haven't seen her. She's amazing. Hmm. Another lob. Just a little long. Yeah, I saw it is out. Yeah, it was out. Ref confirms he saw as out. Little tip for folks, just look for a differentiation in color. That's the current standard yes, now. If you, right. If you can't see a differentiation between the line and the core, yep. it's in. Maybe they should have tried drop of shots sides. before. It's going up. Another lob goes long. Some interchange and they're hanging in there. They've held them off at eight for a number of opportunities. But they haven't advanced. Well, exactly, They've won on right? their side, but they're not winning when they're serving. Which is that challenge of only score points when you're serving. Good hands. Mm. They need to be patient here. See, right. that's Thanks, the problem. Sir. I still love it. I still love them. They're great. Two, eight, two. Second serve. Humber to Bellamy. Mm. Side out. I mean, to beat Beth and Beth Bellamy and, and Paris Todd is, you know, tough as it is. But I, I think they have the skills. They just need to stay into their plan, and they need to get more consistency on some of their shots. But they have the skills to do it for sure. Nice drop. 
Another lob, not quite yep. high enough. Yep. I think they're and recognizing it. Powerfully now. rejected at that point. You saw a fist pump. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we have a moment there. Eight, two, two. But again, no point, mm. right? Right. Very nice, very nice. And we'll see the six point deficit. In game one, they held him at 10 six times and ultimately came through to win at 13. But that was only a four point gap. Her back, I'm Thanks, surprised. Sir. I think hum Humberger is really thinking about, she's kind of thinking about her backhand dink now because she's missed it a few times. She just needs to hit it. They're just staying on it, just stay in it. Mm. Mm. As you were talking about communication, maybe Humberg was there, Bell and, or uh, Quarter might have overreached trying to take that out of the middle. Yeah, well, the thing is, is it's that. It's a backhand, but. Right, but it being, the wind is blowing to the left, so Eight, I think two, she's, she should have let Humberg take that ball. But again, Humberg's behind her, so she doesn't know really where she was. Mm, mm. Boy, that one two what? shot by Paris Todd yeah, is crazy. Right. I mean, she, you know, she's that first shot, she's not trying to make a winner. She's just trying to set herself up for the second shot. Mm. Samari so sends the ball back after Nine, two, two. the team is broken. Paris Todd serve, Bellamy served for a second serve, a softer serve there. With Todd quickly nice driving job. that, a little too high. Yes, exactly. But you know, the thing is, is that now, even though it's late in the set and things can still change, these guys are not giving them a second shot to come in and hit hard at them. They're keeping it low, the second shot. So now they're keeping them back. And a timeout has been called. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's by Zing Zang. The number one Bloody Mary brand is on fire with new Zing Zang Blazing Bloody Mary. By Deco Turf, the official pickleball court surface of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Franklin, the official bag of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And remember, you can purchase the official U.S. Open Pickleball Championships apparel at kitchpickleball.com. On the first two games, tied up. But game number three has not ended. It's gone the way so far with Quarter Humberg, but they are hanging Nine, on. They've been holding off at 8-8-8 eight, eight, eight again, again. Unfortunately, with no points going their way, if you're just joining us, you're seeing this hard-fought battle. We will see how it turns out. This is Rusty from Pickleball Channel. I'm with Eva Welsher. Okay, here we go. Will there be a comeback? Point. Okay, they got their first point in a very long time. Mm, yeah. 3-9-1. Oh, second serve. Going to second serve. Yes. Yeah, so it was uh, all the way back. The score is four two. Is where they were at, and there's been a lot of back and forth. It hasn't been a quick game. No. Boy, the gets that Paris gets, Paris Todd gets is amazing. Nice job, very nice. Go, but again, two. those guys were in transition zone. They didn't get all the way up. So eventually, maybe three shots, then they're gonna lose it. Yeah. Somehow you have to advance Four, after nine, each two. shot. Very good pickup. Mm. Nice job, nice job. She got it down. Feeling okay. a little bit of momentum. Nine five, nine two. taking a break. So after three quick points in a row, the receiving team decides to take a timeout.
The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Latitude Margaritaville and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude Margaritaville. By Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's paradise coast. By Skechers Pickleball. Experience performance comfort on the court with the all-new Skechers Viper Court Pro. And by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. From that timeout, it is all of a sudden for the first time in game number three, Mari Humberg and Sherry Quarter have Five, put three three points two. on the board in a row. So Humberg is moving her dinks around very well. Now that's the way to set up a point. That's the way to set up a point. You gotta move it. Every single dink you gotta move. And here's a look, the Skechers instant replay. Six, nine, two. And we're now at six nine. So Beth Bellamy and Paris Todd switch sides. Oh. So I think Beth should have Beth should have dropped that. She had it. Beth should have bounced that one. And it's 9-7. You were talking earlier. You had an opportunity at one time. You had a 9-3 in the comeback, right? Yes. 9-3? Yeah. 7-9-2. So we'll see if they can come back from 9-2. Honestly, half of it is just mental. Oh. Great idea, Great idea. I don't know who she's looking at, but she, she keeps looking over there and giving funny faces. 9-7-1. Bellamy serves. Okay, Humber. so they lost the serve. That's so. uncharacteristic of Beth. Beth usually makes those. Mm -hmm. She was trying to put it softly at their feet, which mm -hmm. was a smart move. It's just she didn't have the clearance Nine, seven, over the net. Todd looks mm -hmm. to drive two straight in a row. Unfortunately, the last one driven into the tape. I think I probably would have done a fifth shot drop and gotten the, her team into the kitchen. Seven, nine, but one. she's looking for a pop-up. So. I understand that. Okay, why is everybody hitting? <laughs> like, get up to the kitchen. So hard Do a drop. The baseline. Well, <laughs> I mean, we've seen a lot of very effective Seven, nine, drives from the baseline, but if it's not working right now, yeah. Exactly. And it's 9-8. Amazing. Eight, nine, two. Point. Wow. <laughs> Another timeout called. So after having a 8-2 lead, and dominating whole game number three, we find ourselves tied up, and the reserving serving team calls a timeout to see if they can have their chance to win gold. Unbelievable. Let's see what happens after this. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of pickleball products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships by Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, and by Yola for the champion in you. And welcome to the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. Yes, if you are just joining us, we are at the yes, end, potentially, of an exciting nine, women's nine, pro split nine, age eight. As suddenly, Courtney Humbert have tied up this game number three. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. They have match point. They have what match point. just happened? So they are raising their hands, trying to get the crowd going. The underdogs 
are now at match point. Oh, they're on second serve, though. And a smile, she's like hands battle against Paris Todd. What Beth just Bellamy happened? Coming back, they were down and down and down. <laughs> Look at their faces. They're like in, they don't, oh my gosh. Wow, that was fantastic. What were they down, 9-3, 9-2? They were down 8-2. No. And they it's... held them at eight. One, two, three, four, five times. Wow. Then a 9-3, one, and climb their way back up. Welcome to the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. You're looking at some proud smiles of some people who fought hard and are now new, brand new, U.S. Open gold medal champions. Let's see that winning pound. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. It just tells you folks, it's never over. Always believe. Wow. And look at oh, that expression. Oh, oh, oh. Arms in the air. She's like, what just happened? Oh. oh, it's so exciting to see here. Thank you, everybody. We're going to have a brief moment, and we are going to have some medals put around some proud champions next. But don't go away. We have more great medal action and coming to you from the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. We're Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. And here we are on Zing Zang Championship Court after an amazing three-game medal match. I'm joined with silver medalists Beth Bellamy and Paris Todd. Everyone, a round of applause. We have Heather from Margaritaville coming on out. And a special happy birthday to you as well, Heather. But right now, our silver medalists Thank you for being a part of this amazing event. This is a new tournament to you. You've been on this championship be court before, but three games and some amazing action. How are you feeling and, and what went through? Oh, it was just a really fun day playing with Paris. She's so amazing and um, we lost a heartbreaker, but that's pickleball and we did our best. Nothing we can do about it. We uh, gave everything we had and congratulations to the other team. Yeah, you know, it's so fun playing with Beth, and it's just, you know, just so much fun being on the court with her, and they were just too good today, so congrats, guys, and thanks for having us. Yeah, well, well fought bottle. Congratulations on your silver. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And now let's bring out our gold medal, our champions at the U.S. Open. <laughs> Sherry Corder and Mary Humberg. Congratulations. That was pretty amazing. Heather from Margaritaville is going to come out with your gold medals. In addition to your winnings, you also get a pair of Skechers pickleball shoes. Thank you. thank you. Skechers, thank you, Skechers. And another special treat, you're going to get a complimentary two-night stay at the Margaritaville Beach Resort in Fort Myers <laughs> Beach, <laughs> Florida. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Margaritaville. Can we put this down? Yes. Sure. So, three games. 
Number one, fought hard all the way 13 13, right? You yeah. pulled that out. Number two, pretty significantly 11 1. I mean, yeah. and you come in and you're behind game number three, but you held them off at eight again and again and again, but no points on the board. And then all of a sudden, three points in a row, a timeout and more. What's going through your mind and what shifted at the end? <laughs> I told her to start hunting and stop just playing back at the people, and she did it. I mean, we had to take control. Actively patient, but hunting. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're new. Just recently in August, I believe, you started playing pickleball, and this is an amazing show. So what was going on in your head with that change and that transition? Well, I'm still trying to figure this sport out, so <laughs> we're taking it one step at a time. I had a partner to pick me up today, carried me all the way through the day, and this was a blind date. We met yesterday. Yeah, we did. Um, so this is, I think it worked yeah. out okay. Yeah. It apparently did work out quite well. So here you are at the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships on Championship Court, Zing Zang Championship Court. What are you feeling right now? I don't know what to feel right now. First of all, two champions over there. Amazing, amazing. Um, but I'm in, I'm in shock. Maybe later we'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know about you. Yeah. I'm, I'm in shock. I'm hungry, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, they're, they're amazing. I, I watch videos of them playing to learn how to play, yeah. right? Yeah. They're, they're what we look forward to being. So it was an awesome experience to play on center court and get to battle alongside yeah. Sherry today. Yeah. So yeah, we had a blast. Yes, all four competitors, an amazing show. One round of applause for both our gold and silver medalists. Everybody, thank you for being here in the audience at home. We have a gold medal match in the men's pro split age coming up. Enjoy yourselves. Congratulations once again. Thank you, thank you so much. Way to go, girls. Congrats. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. We're expecting to see some fast interchanges and some power. As you look at, uh, again, there's Altoff. Yep. You uh, are quite familiar with Altoff. Yeah, so Altoff actually is my mixed partner at this tournament. I mean, you're going to see a lot of verbal interaction between Dave and Altoff. I think that Andre uh, Daescu and John Sincola are going to be probably on the quieter side. Um, but there will be a lot of action, and I think there's going to be a lot of hand battles. And uh, remember, uh, Andre and Daescu and John Sincola are both very tall so they can reach in and they can uh, start things up. So we'll see what strategies each of these teams have. And here we go. Mertens and John Sincola. All right, so our referee calling the beginning of game number one. and Dave The men's pro split age gold medal match here on Zing Zang Championship Court. And the red hat about to serve is Dave Weinbach. Dayescu drops instead of drives. Good movement of the dinks. All four players getting involved. Dave trying to set up his Ernie. Oh, he's ready. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> Weinbach has been said for years to have some of the fastest hands in the sport. Uh, Which I think his ping pong background exactly helps that him table immensely. tennis for sure yeah. makes a significant difference. Mm -hmm. Dave gets up there right away. He's ready to battle. Hmm. Mm. See. Oh, 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 there, trying look, to he stare just it down stares. a little bit. Well, he, um, I'll wait for the ball, but it was a little bit of a stare down, not just it was a, a hand me the ball. It was a stare down. It was a stare down. They're setting the tone. They're setting the tone to this match. Very nice. Yeah, pops yeah. that back in the corner there. I don't think John should have come over that far. He just left so much property behind him open, you know.
Ooh, that was a high one. They're pushing Altov back. Altov's not going back to the middle. Oh. Our first big yell from Altov Merchant and early I, on in game number one. Andre Desescu has no response, no facial response whatsoever. He knows look it's at coming. Sketchers in some replay. James. So we have our side out coming. Dave Chatton. Dayescu serves. Jason Cola. A little early chest bump here. We'll see a lot of those. Two, one, one. Two, one. Oh, oh man. Cover. Yeah. That was good coverage by Johnny. who heats it up, but Merchant handles it, resulting in a little bit of a pop-up there. Yeah, I mean, Altoff is ready for a backhand. I mean, he's not even looking for a forehand because he knows that John Sokola has it in the middle. So he's actually moved over and just, he's just standing backhand. Look at him. Yeah. And then he'll take a step back to take the forehand because he has to take it behind him. But he's, he's ready for any speed up. So with a tie of 2-2, two -two, Sokola serves. So close. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Mm. He Dave got under that. It was a bit of an uncharacteristic yeah. line box. I would say almost really consistent, but typically extremely consistent with his mm -hmm. thirds. Wow. That thing was barely over they the net. They were like, wait, what just happened? That, you know, like, <laughs> exactly. He jumps. Let's see if we can see it here. Comes around. Pop right into the body. It was almost so <laughs> quick. They, they were both a little so like, was that legal? What just happened? Well, I think Altoff and um, Sincola wondered if he crossed the line on the net on that. So we're at two, three. So targeting Altoff's backhand. Ooh. Ooh. Nice interchange. Did Altoff heat up a little bit early? Well, I think that John Sincola probably should have taken that forehand. I, if there's any hesitation at all, you're going to miss it. I like where Altoff's putting his dinks. They're putting them pretty much like between Dave's legs, so he doesn't. A little pop on the net. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Close. Oh, Look yeah. at him. It's safe. Uh, it's good. I'll talk to being like, in case you didn't know, I'll tell you that was in. Oh, my God. But it was nice, right on the, right on the line. baseline there. I think wait, Altoff wait, just one. wants to jump across the net and talk to his opponents all the time. <clears throat> I think as again, we pointed out, if you're just joining wait, wait, us two. earlier in the day, but Altoff being lefty. Mm-hmm. So I wonder, I, you know, there's the, the sun is going down. There's a lot of shadows on the court. I wonder how much that's playing a factor wait, in wait, their what? sight, or you know how they're how they're re receiving the ball. You know. Yeah. Certainly a little more contrast on this side of the court. The camera side, you can see the sun really kind of hitting the white mm -hmm. reflection of the tape. Um, for us, it's kind of coming across sideways into our eyes. Uh, 
sort of in the, the back corner of mm -hmm. championship court. Too big of a swing Second by seven. Dave. Yeah. It was there, kind of got between them, just a little long. It's so tough to contain yourself on those shots, though. Four, three, two. Again, uh -huh. Trey with. That wasn't the one. Mm. That wasn't the one. Well, for being so tall, he's moving really well laterally, right? Cross, mm -hmm. back and forth. It takes one step for him. Yeah. Dave serving, you're at five, you're on the right. And so with an five, initial three, back two. and forth, two, one, three, three, we're now finding himself with a two point lead mm. to Deesco and Weinbach. Study. Yep. Side out. A little bit too much. Yep. Forcing a side out now. I'd rather see him go for yes. Eltoff's shoulder than Three, five, going four. towards an appendage because he's ready for that. Hmm. So again, Dave and Weinbach and Andrew, Andre Deescu are going with the wind, and so they're missing a few of these shots long. They need to bring their target five, point five, in one. from the baseline. Good job moving. Kind of got up under Dave's yeah. chin there almost, right in the middle of his chest. The pros notoriously attack down the line. So you can see how Johnson Cola went right into him and then the second shot they have is the winner. Oh, he got him. <laughs> he got him on the, the shot. That shot was no way going in, but he got his body. Right, so, yeah. point. Well, and you're, I think you're seeing that a lot more as well, right? These attacking shots that are not intended to go in. Right, right. Just intended to not be able to return them. <laughs> right. They're looking for a body. So the ball ended up going wide and out of the court. The fans are giving some applause to the other fans who was able to catch that ball and send it back in the court. And our first timeout in game number one has been called. We will take a Takea hydration break. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Latitude Margaritaville and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude Margaritaville by Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. By Skechers Pickleball. Experience performance comfort on the court with the all-new Skechers Viper Court Pro. And by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. So after the first timeout, the receivers called that timeout. The men's pro yeah. split age gold medal match at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championship. You see there, John Sincola serving. Oh, good reach, but Second couldn't serve. quite get that. Seven, five, two. So as the second serve comes, Merchant to Weinbach. Hmm. You don't realize how much, you don't realize how much the wind is holding up Altoff's uh, dinks, and he has to push so hard. And there's a fine line between pushing too hard and then too little. Well, and he pushed it too reach, hard, right? Reach too. I mean, and so his ability to take that out of the air, yeah. so close to the net. Exactly, and then he just got his feet.
Nice shot. <laughs> Nicely executed around the post. As well as the celebration. As well as the celebration. Well, you know, I mean, you got to figure out at some level it's fun, oh, and, uh, you know, everybody has a different way to keep themselves in the game. I have to say, though, I love the personality on the court. I know some people, it agitates them, but as long as you keep it on your side of the court, that celebration, I think it, it's entertaining for the viewers. Uh, it's entertaining, you know, for everyone. Where did John Sincola come from? Yeah, right? <laughs> he was just back there waiting. And so with a nice back and forth, let's take a look at the Skechers instant replay. Seven, six, one. Little hands battle. Celebration between the two of them. Come back to a point in progress. Mm. Dayescu able to reach up over there. God, his reach is incredible. Like, how do you get it by him, right? Yeah. You have don't, to move him. Don't even try lobbing. No, you have to move him. You have to constantly move him. He cannot. Mm. Well, that doesn't work too well. <laughs> But you were talking about how important it is to keep people back, right? So that was a right. ball was hit nice and deep. The serve and return and the third are the most important shots, and it's amazing how many people don't work on their serves and returns. Side out. So with the side out, Diascu and Weinbeck find a chance to Six, eight, close one. it up again. Mm -hmm. mm, that was a great shot. Getting ready to serve. Oh, tough merchant. Raising his hand up in the air. Trying to keep his energy up. It's a replay. Comes over, he comes over. sincola has got to get out of the way. Shot behind Alto. Andre is just pushing. 882. Sorry. Keeps him back. Easy. Nice block volley, right? Easy peasy. You can't. You just can't hit to somebody just standing there waiting for it. He's not frazzled at all. Dave can handle any type of pace Here's possible. Right here it comes. It's just a little yeah. block volley. Boop. I mean, he barely moved. Coming back to the point already in the progress. They just go back and forth here. And they're mixing it up, all four players. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's a celebration. <laughs> Okay, literally like two minutes ago it was 8-6 and now it's 10-8. It's amazing how fast pickleball games can just change the momentum. 10-8-2. Side out. Yeah, that's it. Side out, bringing it back to only a two-point game. We saw turnarounds before, will it happen here? Oh, Johnny. So, Sincola, remember, the wind is blowing from add to deuce court. So, he was actually reaching for it the whole time. They heat it up. Yeah, he I mean, gets his paddle on it, but. That was risky by Altoff because, I mean, he was ready. But again, if you go to his forehand and he's not ready, if he tries to hit it cross court at all, it's going out. So that was a smart Nine, play. Ten, two. Side out. And they force the side out and still at 10 9, they're able, as Weinbach says, right now, let's go. 10 9 1. Game point. Yeah. 
everybody's hopeful it's out. One side's praying it's in, and the other side is hopeful it's out. It was out, though. It was, replay comes up. 10-9-2. Look out, he ducks. Yep. Merchant returns, comes across. John is standing in the middle. Oh, Sincola. That was seriously. So right after that uh, Pops the serve, ball right back, yeah. Yeah, right after that um, return, he, John Sincola stood right in the middle. 9 10 1. Mm, nice job. Yeah, yeah, that backhand two in a row, a little wider, a little wider. Closes it out. Forces a second serve. Nine, ten, two. Okay, can they tie it up? I just don't. Hmm. Especially at nine, ten, I feel like you need to get that third in and get your team up to the kitchen line to battle. So one box serves. Okay, point. Goes a little bit long. Frustration expressed. Dave's trying to encourage his partner. It's okay, it's okay, let's focus. Here we go. Another game point. John's coming over more. Nice job. Oh, that's a lot of expression from Andre to desk you. Nice job. A big yell there and a fist pump and a high five as game one goes to Diasco Weinbach at the Men's Pro Split Age Gold Medal Match. But don't go away, because an exciting game two is on the way. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. And we're back here with a look at Championship Court there with the Margaritaville VIP Lounge, License to Chill Lounge in the background. Look at the fans watching. Dave Weinbach, ready to receive as we go into game number three. Very nice. Through to the middle. One zero two. Merchant serves. One zero. Okay, so that's middle again. So two in a row. So remember that um, Altoff Merchant and John Sicola are going with the wind now. So their balls are going much faster, gaining speed as they hit it. Ouch. Okay. I feel like I'll talk. Real hair. Zero, two, one. My back serves to Merchant, who returns to Descu. Nice shot. There he goes around the post. Successful. He gets yep. behind. What is Altoff doing? <laughs> I don't know. He. He's just a goofball. ATP there. Lands cleanly in the back corner. Zero, two, two. Diascu serving to Sincola. Mm. Hmm. Nice little back and forth. That's a good move by Dave, going, changing the dink. You can see Altoff say, you know, you can either Ernie that one or you got to go behind under Daskey. Yes. 
Yes. Two, two, two. Nice and clean. Third middle one, again. Third middle one. Okay, so three is enough that you can notice that pattern. You notice it. Well, you know. It, what are they what? thinking? Are they just like, how do we miss that? Or If somebody's going to gonna wind up, they're not going to hit an angle. So somebody's got to take the middle, somebody's got to take the line. There's no way that, that Altaf Merchant can get that angle behind Dave. So Dave needs to cover that middle. And Cole way over. He went inside out on that. Did you see that? He did that funky where he shows that he's going to hit a backhand and then he reversed it and hit a forehand to just try to. Yeah, so I was going to say, real quick for those who don't know inside out, maybe if we have a moment in between, go yes. ahead and share that with folks. Yes. So Weinbach hits, Merchant returns. Mm. Nice. Just far enough away from John Sincolo that he couldn't get it. But again, he was stuck in the transition zone. So Weinbach and Deescu did a good job keeping him back. Three, two, one. Nice oh, job. Gets behind his back there. Yep. So John Lee, John Sincola leads heavy, heavy forehand. So he's he got beat on that in the last match too. So he really needs to just pay attention to that and take a step to the left and cover it. Good follow through Altov. Altoff giving himself a pep talk there. You're looking at Four, two, two. Johnson Cola getting ready to return. Desku serves. Nice back and forth. <laughs> Oh, reach. He gets it. They're trying to catch Johnson oh. Cola behind him. Nice job. What patience between all four gentlemen. When they had pulled uh, Sin Cola wide, even he kind of scooped around with his forehand a little bit. He was so far out, but yep. he was able to move and come back. He did a good job when he got pulled wide to just reset it right in front of Dave so he couldn't do anything four. and he was able to get in back and reset himself in position. Two, four, so now we're at two four one. Merchant serve to Weinbach. Mm. I think that was a little aggressive. Maybe wait one more dink before trying Three, to do four, that. One. the net for a yeah. while, but ultimately came back to his side. So Dave Weinbach and Andrew Deescu are really. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was going up. Pops off the paddle, yeah. unfortunately. No point. So Andre. Andre Deescu and Dave Weinbach are playing the outside lines of John Sincola and Altoff Merchant because their backhands are on the outside. So you're seeing them spread them so that the middle becomes questionable for both mm -hmm. of them with two forehands. That's a really good pattern for playing the lefty. He just can lean in so far. I mean, yeah, what do you do? I, yeah. It's hard. Five, three, one. Nice interchange. 
Weinbach now serves to Merchant, returning to Daescu. Switching of sides. Second Pops serve. in the net, almost makes it over, but. He got lucky. Five, three, two. Oh, what a get. What a get. Nice. You're still in it. Oh, nice Johnny's reset. playing. Oh! Weinbach had that great reset in there. Oh, Johnny was playing singles. I don't know if they had confusion with their forehands or not, because Altov took that one. You are. Yes. What a great yes. point. Great defense by yes, Andre Deescu. Good intention by Altov Merchant, but unfortunately he got the net and then the property was open behind him. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Paddle Tech, the official paddle of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, by Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand, by Takeya, hydration is an all-day game, and by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Save the date, April 13th to 20th, 2024. And as we come back seeing Weinbach and Daescu a little hyped up after that point. With some communication as they lead by four right now. As well as they have one game under their belt. So they're still doing the exchange cross court between Altoff Merchant and Dave Weinbach. Dave just changed the pattern. Okay, Altoff reached for that. He got kind of lucky. But you know what? They got the serve back. Three, seven. Everybody was just swinging ahead of, uh, above their heads, making sure that if they got it or not. And there's a view from the Margaritaville License to Chill Lounge courtside. There's people Four, enjoying the environment, the activity, the community. And the biggest pickleball party in the world. Weinbach oh. answers it just quite out of the reach of Merchant. Very good hands. Here's a look at that moment. Back Four, and seven, forth. Two. Side out. I mean, those two are just leaning in so far to mm. get that ball. Mm. Right on the peak, and they're getting it right down at the feet. I mean, I don't know how you defend that. Still staying on Altoff Merchant's backhand. Uh, mm. Very good idea by Altoff Merchant, though. But Andre Deescu is ready. And just kind of hits the tip of Merchant's paddle. Yes. Eight four one. All right, eight four. away from gold champions. Merchant says not yet. <laughs> not yet. He was ready for that one. Trust me, he's not going anywhere. He's going to fight. Altoff Merchant's going to fight till the bitter end. Hmm. Ball goes long. 
giving us a side out and a chance. If you've seen anything, if you've been joining us earlier, you saw an amazing comeback in game three in the women's. 4-9-1. Merchant now serving 4-9. Very nice ATP by Altoff Merchant. Altoff's really trying to insert himself here, make some chaos, get some points. Goes in his way. Nine, trying to put more points on the board. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Sincola can't quite get back over there to cover the space. No, I mean, Andre Deskew and Dave Weinbach have been very, very patient, picking their spots. I mean, they're, they're going hard, but they're going at the right time. And their hands are sick. Seven, seven. Nice job. Nice job by John Sincola going down at the feet. Nine, five, two. Is that back and forth? Yeah, those two are just, that's the pattern. Hmm. Weinbach switching it up. He'll go down the line soon. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Just enough help from the net. You can see Merchant's frustration. Not much you can do when those pops happen like that. I mean, yes. you know, Sincola and Merchant played a great point. So did the other yes. team. It's just bad luck. So we're, we're at match point. Two. Exactly. She would love Altoff Merchant to go behind Andre Diascu and not stay in that cross court dink with Dave Weinbach. Another chest bump on the other side. Yep. Did John think that was going out? Or just kind of catch him off? I think it just feet? cut him off the yeah. guard that they even got it back. Merchant serves. What a get. Oh. Good hands. Just couldn't do it two times. And digs it out. Another match point. Oh, I like that soft one down the middle. Johnson Cola didn't try to go hard. He just went middle low, and that made Andre Dascu hit it up. That was a smart play. 10 5 2. Well, Sincola all the way on the court. Look at him. Look at Andre's picking up Dave Weinbach. <laughs> I mean, he's off the ground by like two feet. <laughs> There's oh a victory gosh. moment, and we have some new champions here at the U.S. Open. Dave Weinbach once again with another gold, and Andre Diascu for the first time at the U.S. Open with a gold. Let's look at that last point there. With the victory in hand, lifted in the air, <laughs> we will be back for a medal ceremony. Don't go away. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. 
Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Paddle Tech, the official paddle of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, by Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand, by Takeya, hydration is an all-day game, and by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Save the date, April 13th to 20th, 2024. Yep, after these commercials, we are gonna to come to the ceremony for the winner of the Pro Men's Split Age. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. Okay, now we are back on Zing Zang Championship Court. I'm with our silver medalists, Johnson Cola and Altoff Merchant, everyone. Curtis from Paddle Tech is gonna come out and give you your silvers. Paddle Tech, the official paddle of the U.S. Open. Thank you for your sponsorship these many years. And guys, Good, thank, you. thank you. It was a hard fought battle. We saw you out here earlier in the day fighting your way through the bracket. You found yourself in this final match. You have five silvers. So here you are again. What are you thinking? <laughs> hey, listen, Wednesday I play again. Friday I play with Eva. Come on, I got to get a gold sometime. But this is amazing. This is John and I have played twice together. We've gone on the podium both times. and. I mean, I can't ask for, this is gold for me. Playing with John on Zing Zang Code and winning one match, getting to the finals, it's like winning a gold medal. So this is gold, baby. This is All right, gold. well said. And how are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel great. I mean, I wish we could have won, but um, I love playing with Altoff. I know going into it that he's going to bring all the energy. So, you know, one of my favorite players to play with just because there's going to be the fire. It's going to be fun. You know, so we had a blast out there. Yeah, absolutely a show for the fans and great performance. Congratulations on your medals, you guys. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. And now let's bring out our U.S. Open champions, Andre Deascu and Dave Weinbach in this unique split age group. Once again, Curtis from Paddle Tech, the official paddle of the U.S. Open, is going to come out and give you your gold. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for being the official paddle of the U.S. Open yeah, again for really every year, I think. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime for a gold medal. And in addition it. to your medals and your prize money, you're going to get a pair of Skechers pickleball shoes, oh, officially designed for pickleball. Let's go, Skechers. And a unique thing, you're going to get a two-night courtesy stay at the Fort My or at the Margaritaville Beach Resort in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. Oh, there we you. go. Thank you. Thanks, Curtis. So, you guys. That was hard fought. Obviously, you worked your way all the way through the bracket. Dave Weinbach, you have been here before. I'm coming back to you. This is your first time at the US Open on the Metal Sand Zing Zang Championship Court. So what's this moment mean to you? Uh, it means a lot to me. Obviously, there's a lot of work that goes into it. I had so much fun playing with the uh, goat of the US Open. I think he's up to 17 medals right now. So uh, I learned so much from him. He, he kept me out there mentally. His energy is incredible. Um, and yeah, it means the world to me to be able to get a gold medal at the US Open. All right, well, it's been great to see your rise and becoming new to pickleball. It's fantastic, great performance. Now, Dave, again, like he said, once again, another championship for you. What does this mean? Rusty, you know I love this place. Uh, every time I step on this court, I get a huge adrenaline rush. It's my favorite court in the world to play on, and today I had the best partner you could ever ask for. This guy is an absolute beast. He's not new to the game at all. Uh, people in pickleball know all about Andre Deescu, and he's an absolute monster my first time playing with him uh, I think the result was okay so we're gonna do it again but congratulations and I want to say thank you Rusty to all the incredible volunteers Absolutely. and uh, officials 
and Chris and Terry and Jim Ludwig, the whole management team that puts on maybe the greatest tournament on earth and certainly the greatest party on earth. So I look forward to this every single year. Well, out of day wines, Mac Mouth, to your ears. This has been an incredible time. Once again, people, another round of applause for these amazing gold medalists. Thank you so much. So that's it for another amazing day here at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville. Stay tuned for more great pickleball action all week long here on Pickleball Channel. And until next time, keep on playing.